Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of Jason Wayne Dennis. And it says he was 17 years old, St. George, Utah. He had some nicknames and aliases, 5'6", 115 pounds. It says he was Asian, white, Caucasian. Jason may have traveled to Salt Lake City, Utah, Nevada, or to the Southern California area. Jason is biracial. He is white and Asian. Brown hair, brown eyes, wears glasses. Backpack, unknown color, 22 caliber handgun. Green huffy bicycle. And here's the contact information. If you have any information about what may have happened to him, maybe you're not sure if authorities have the information and you didn't think it was relevant then, and now that you think about it, you think, oh, maybe it might be relevant. You know, let the let them decide what's relevant and what's not. doesn't matter if it's hearsay or whatever. Just let them know any information that you have and so that his case can be solved. And here's an image of him. The Charlie Project, and I read these. I'm not sure if they're accurate or true, but they're interesting. And I don't like to leave information out, so... So it says Jason was last seen in St. George, Utah during the morning hours, March 18, 2002. I don't know who saw him. He's never been heard from again. Investigators believe that he left of his own accord. He may be in Salt Lake City, Utah or in Nevada or Southern California. He took a green heavy bike, a backpack, and a 22 caliber pistol with him. The gun's serial number, wow, is, and there it is. Ten days after his disappearance, his father, Timothy Wayne Dennis, was charged with 15 felony counts. Of child sex abuse. His victim was a young girl. Investigators stated the charges had nothing to do with Jason or his disappearance. He gave some friends a runaway note stating he was leaving of his own decision. The note did not mention any difficulties with his father. Timothy was convicted on one count of forcible sexual abuse and one count of sexual abuse on a child. He has since been released from prison and now lives in Draper, Utah, Jason's disappearance remains unsolved and is still classified a runaway. Okay, and here's the Doe Network. And there's the information on the Doe Network. You can pause that and read it if you want to. It's pretty much the same information. So... And the next one, I'm going to click on it, but I can't really read it because usually if there's ads, it'll make my video and my voice break up. So sorry about that. I might read some of it, though. And this was where he was actually charged, 60-man charged with abuse. A man who reported his 17-year-old son missing 10 days ago is charged with 15 first-degree felonies involving sex abuse of a child. Timothy Wayne Dennis, 42, St. George, appeared in the 5th District Court via a video link from Purgatory Correctional Facility where he has been jailed on a, on a 405,000 bell since his arrest Tuesday. Judge, whatever, read the charges. I'm sorry, I can't hardly pronounce Some of these words, I don't know how to pronounce them. I don't want to chop up their name. Against Dennis and said he would review the defendant's efforts to hire an attorney during a and there comes the ads. Anyway, none of the charges involve his missing son, but that doesn't. Ten counts of aggravated sex abuse of a child, five counts of sodomy of a child, all first-degree felonies. He is also charged with third-degree felony counts of forcible sex abuse. Washington County Deputy Attorney said the charges against him were aggravated because of the female's victim's age during the alleged events and her relation to the defendant. Dennis is the father of Jason Dennis, a 17-year-old who was last seen in the morning of March 18th. The missing teen is brown hair, wears glasses 5 feet 6 inches tall, and weighs around 120 to 130 pounds, police say. Um, the teenager normally wears a blue denim jacket, but they're not sure if he was wearing it at the time. They think he took a green back... They think he took a green bicycle and a 22 caliber pistol. A note which he reportedly gave friends. 
said he left on his own accord and not because of problems involving his father. And we're going to go to some Hachandos. Okay, I have this one, and this one was found in Harris County, Texas, March 20th, 2002. 17 to 32 years old, 5'7", 166 pounds. Estimated PMI about a week. So, descendant found face down in a creek. Race is estimated to be white or Hispanic. Not recognizable partial skeleton parts only. Black hair, about a quarter of an inch long. So, three gothic styled letters on. So, there's some more information. And that's one of the ones that I thought maybe could be him. And then we have this one, Phoenix, Arizona, found August 18, 2002. Um, drug overdose, 14 to 20 years old, white or Hispanic. 5 foot 2 to 5 foot 4, unknown but thin build, black, short hair, brown eyes, and white denim jeans. Talks about the clothing. The victim was found in South Mountain Park. And then the other ones. This one, mm, I don't think so, but I left it in. Beaver County, Utah, because of the distance and stuff. But it says 33 to 42 years old, found two years prior. Or estimated day of death two years prior. Sorry about that. Five foot five, black hair. So I decided to leave that one in as well. Because of the location, it was he was found in Utah. This one was found. Um, he was found Fort Worth, Texas. Estimated death three days prior to April twenty first, two thousand two. Five foot six to five foot eight. Black hair, brown eyes. Nineteen to thirty five years old. White Hispanic. And there's the information about that one. Um, this one is the one that I showed you already from Harris, Texas. It's just. This is on the Doe Network because I was browsing through the Doe Network trying to find John Doe's that might fit his description. So I have some in different places. This one, he was found in Cern Valley, California, ages 18 to 80 years old, 5 foot 6. Found in 2010. Estimated PMI is only a year. Estimated year of death is 2000 to 2009. Cannot estimate the weight. So. Partial skeleton remains found scattered in the open desert. So let's see what else we have. We have this one. Lakeside, California. I'm going to open a picture. Oops, if I can. And this young man was discovered October 8, 2002. He's 5'7", 150 pounds. He appeared to be a young adult Asian male between 20 and 25 years old who was a driver of a commercial style full size pickup truck. I guess he stole it and lost control and it wrecked and he was ejected from the vehicle. So it says recognizable face, dark brown, black, short, wavy hair. Okay. So. And then we have this one, and he was found in Issaqu Issaquah, Washington. Estimated date of death: 2001. Skeletal remains: white Hispanic, five foot three to five foot eight. The victim was located off roadway in Issaquah, Washington. And with three more, uh, this one: Phoenix, Arizona. He was found in 2002. Five foot eight, 206 pounds. I don't think. He could weigh that much. Black hair, brown eyes, very thin, faint mustache scar on his arm. So there it is right there. His girlfriend did not know his real name, said he was from Mexico. So that's not going to be him. And then we have this one. And he was found in Norfolk, Virginia, 2003, 14 to 25. Um, Asian male, possible Caucasian, but other ethnic such as Hispanic and Mexican cannot be ruled out. 
And five foot six to five foot eight, 135 pounds, black hair. And found floating in the Elizabeth River near the Harbor Park Stadium in Norfolk. That one kind of that one looks similar to him, but I don't know if he would have gotten all the way to Virginia. But so I left it in. And then we have this young man found in Los Angeles County, California. Estimated date of death 2000 to 2003. Ages 14 to 22. White or Hispanic, presumed male, although female could not be excluded. So partial skeletal remains found on a mountainside off of, I don't know how to pronounce that, Bouquet Canyon Road, three quarters of a mile from Spunky Canyon Road. So those are the John Does that I found. If you know who any of these John Does are, please contact authorities and let them know. If you have any information about what might have happened to that young man, Maybe you remember the last time you saw him or you have it in a diary somewhere or you know of circumstances that were in the past that haven't been brought up. Maybe you didn't see him for a while before he was reported missing. I don't know about, you know, any information that you have. Maybe he told you where he might be going. I have no idea. I'm just... If you, if you have any information about what might have happened to Jason Wayne Dennis, please contact authorities and let them know. Don't forget to pray for him and his loved ones and his family and the other John Doe's as well. Because these are all families. Each one of these John Doe's is somebody that whose family doesn't have closure, doesn't know what happened to their loved one. They're not able to um, scatter their ashes or anything. And I think that's pretty horrific, never knowing what happened to your loved one. So please feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.